I'm Nati from Cinematic Instruments, and today I'm going to walk you through our updated alto harp. This instrument has very clear organic sounds and a beautiful long sustain. Alto harps are usually perceived as rhythmic instruments, but our digital recreation is versatile and you can also achieve beautiful sounds for melodic purposes. To begin, let's take a look at the articulations. The hammer articulation comes from hitting the strings on the auto harp using a piano hammer. This next articulation is the result of thumb plucking the strings of the auto harp. articulation is inherited from previous versions of the auto harp. It has a rough sound which was achieved by plucking the strings using a plaque. The muted articulation consists of the sounds of palm-muted strings, which can also resemble a pizzicato. For the bowed articulation, we used a violin bow with the outer horn. Here in the effects part, we decided to include a glissando, which is triggered by the mod wheel. The effects also include an octaver, a rotary, and the vivid mod wheel, which assigns the velocity of the played notes. The arp section is where you can create arpeggios. The bars on the table define the velocity of the notes. The arrows indicate the mode of the arpeggio. Up, down, or up-down. Activating the plus 12 button makes the R play an additional octave. And here, you can define the speed of the arp, which can also be controlled using the mod wheel. Strummer is where you can create strumming patterns for your instrument. You can make each step play a dead note by activating the square button below it. Down below, you have four presets for the strummer engine. Here is where you can define the speed of the strumming pattern. The tight knob lets you adjust the speed of the strokes. Finally, the volume knob lets you define the volume of the strumming articulation in relation to the selected articulation. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy using our updated auto harp.